Well, hello there. We're going to be showing you my first impression of a new game called Circle of Kurzovin. This is a city builder set in the year 1012. If you like strategy games, building simulations, and historical settings, then this game is definitely for you. Now, this is my first impression of the game. I found it on a, in a Reddit forum, and I thought, oh, wow, that's cool. And I signed up through their Discord for early access of their UI testing. So this is my first experience with the game. We're going to hit play. Not too interested in that. So the graphics are blockish. But they're really nice. I like that it has flowing animations and natural waterways. And it's supposed to have a pretty intricate farming system. So the first things we need to do are build one or two forestry sites near the trees. So, oh wow, a game with forestry. Hmm? Quite a bit of buildings. Wow. Got Very cool. Not bad. So plants will grow back automatically. So we build a forester stump and we can see the area that it gets. So we want to find ourselves a nice, a nice place to do this. Um, any, I guess anywhere as good as anywhere right now. Let's put it here for now. Get all these trees in this area. And then we need a gatherer shack. I presume to gather. Um, how the heck did they get up here? I'd like to do this. There's a, Bridgeway down there. And a bridgeway there. They'll have to walk around quite a distance to get here. Um, this would be probably where I would want it. Let's just put it in the starting area for now. See if that is enough. So one of the cool things I read about this game is that all the animal populations are static. Um, and that they're impacted by natural predators in their environment. So if you kill too many wolves, then you have an overpopulation of deer who go around eating all of the plants, your farmland, etc. So they're trying to focus on somewhat of a equilibrium balance where like you have somewhat of an ecosystem. So that's what makes this game different from other games. Um, it's being developed by a solo de developer, but he does have help. Um, he does have some help with UI and things like that. All right, so here we go. We got the guys, <laughs> you gotta love these, these animations. At least they're not hammering the air. I'm going to give him credit for that. They're hammering the ground, which is slightly more realistic than other building games, I suppose. The air hammering is a very common feature. And we got little bunny rabbits running around. That's pretty cool. It's actually pretty neat. Um, the graphics aren't really that bad. They're just, you know, they're not uh, they're not like super high, high tech. Like we got sheep. We got deer. And then now we need a straw hut. We're going to go to our handy dandy builder. Then services. And man, I... Yeah, I know. Alright, we're going to put the hut right next to the gatherers. I'm going to get some roads in here. Because it's, uh, it's bothering me that there are no roads. There we go. We got roads. Let's get some... Let's get some organization in this, this place. There we go. I don't want to destroy any of my natural resources. All right, so now they're going to be building up this hut. Pending material, a hundred grass and 20 branches. I suppose that my dude over here is supplying the branches. Oh, nice. It has uh, production caps. Max 10. Okay. Not very high. Let's speed this up a bit. All right. Building up that first house now. Very pretty. It's very pr pretty for such a simplistic uh, design, though. I, I could see how this would actually be a very calming game. You got, you know, nice bodies of water, fishing. Pretty pretty well done for a single person. Okay. Now we need to slow down a bit. Next objective. Ensure supply. Primitive stone masonry. Alright, we're going to put that dude. Oh man, I don't want to cut these trees down. I think people are sleeping on the dirt there. I'm uh, gonna wake them up. A hand mill. Hand mill. Place that here. This is my very poorly organized city. A baker's simple oven. Baker's simple oven. And a fireplace. Some fireplaces and services. Oh, this is neato. Let's put that right here. That looks like a good spot. All right. I also want to build another hut. Um. I feel like people shouldn't be sleeping outside in the grass. Bothering me. Even though it's not in Oh god, that's fast. That was so fast. They have an insanely 
Uh, times 100. Okay. Times 10. Times 100. Times 1. Those are some interesting speeds. Um, this isn't beta testing right now, so I presume that's why it's so fast. And we got ourselves a little wonky lo little bit of road here, but that's alright. Alright, cool. So we have a fireplace where people can gather. And boost this up to times 10. This is neat. I actually really like this. Um, it's it's uh, It's got a lot of thought, a lot of thoughtfulness in, in it. I can tell that uh, when this game does come out, it's probably going to be pretty good. Good. The uh, UI is really nice. I think he just, this is uh, the UI testing demo. I really, really like the new UI they have. Let me see if I can actually expand the size of the UI though. Yes, I can. Oh Lord. Very nice. Has a, This game has a lot of features, a lot of thought into it. Um, ooh, we got a mini map. That's something I miss. Oh, wow, cool. Mini map with uh, heat, water, and uh, dirt. Very cool. There's definitely a good amount of content for this being in the very early stages of development. All right, what do we got here? We're waiting on the Baker's Simple Oven. Well, what are we waiting on? We need cut stone and wood. Okay. We have one raw stone in store. Let me make sure that I have not... Oh, God, there's all sorts of critters running through my town. Yeah, there was not a lot of stone where I put my primitive stone cutter right here. That's where I'm going to put the stone cutter. And let us go to times 1 million mode. And that is kind of awesome and kind of scary at the same time to go that fast. All right, our food supply is pretty good. Water, materials, equipment sucks. Gold is negligible. So I don't think we're using it. Oh, cool. It's got um, side, side decorations so you can place decorations onto housing. That's kind of cool. All right. Rudimentary tailoring table. So now we're going to try to get... Ah, that's what the dirt is. The dirt is waste. All right, well, let's put the waste over here. I'm going to build this now because I just want to. But clean people. Rudimentary table. Place it here. And a community center. I'm going to place the community center over here because it's just so big. I mean, it takes a lot of resources. 80 something on stone. Hmm. I think we're gonna have to place another stone cutter. There's not a lot of easily accessed stone. Oh, here we go. Right here. We'll place them over there. And look at them go. That's kind of cool on times 100. I just noticed that my food's getting really low. I'm gonna like not follow the, uh, the guide here perfectly because it's gonna get me killed. We're gonna build ourselves a fishing place right here and a hunter's hut right here right here there we go that should help us with our food our food really sucks and it looks like our water's gone too so we're gonna build a well um, right here let's get those buildings up yeah nice there's upgrades oh nice selectable upgrades very cool pets we have pets bonus comfort do bonus comfort bonus sleep that's cool very neat. A little bit of strategy to this game. The being able to upgrade stuff. Got our little seasons up here in the top right. There we go. We got the hunter's cabin up, so that should help us with food. Need planks for the well. Okay. Need 31 cut stone, 10 rough rags. So we need pinning material right now for this is planks. Why do we not have planks? All right, let's build a sawing place. Interesting. All right, now we got the sawing place up, we'll get planks. And we'll get the other buildings up. Getting lots of stone out of here. Yeah, that's great. Nice. And they're bringing the stone over to this table that doesn't have stone around it to process stone. So that's actually really good. All right, cool. Well, now we got planks going. We're going to get the well. Solve our water issue. All problems shall be solved. And then we need rough rags. Once we get the rags going, we'll get the community center up. All right, I'm starting to see why times 100 is necessary. This game is, uh, game is long. We're about to hit winter. All right. We have no workers in the planks, that's why they're not doing anything. I'm going to destroy this uh, to alleviate a worker for over here. I like the zoom ability in this game, for sure. Very neat. A bird's eye view of everything. I think when you have a... Oh, that's neat. Little mountains in the background. Very cool. Got our dirt pit working. Alright, cool. We got our, um, our tailor up. We got a, someone working there. Perfect. We can make uh, rags from wool or grass. That's pretty neat. Oh, nice. Got the well up. There we go. Now we got water. We got lots of food. I think we need to get the community center up maybe for immigration to start working. A couple people living in there. I don't want to get one of these small cabins up, but they require wool. Hmm. 
All right, are we make? We're not even making rags. What's going on here? Give me some grass. We have six grass in stock. That's one thing I don't like though is that I can't shift. Uh, I have to like build a gatherer's hut over here. I can't shift, or maybe I can. I just don't know how to do it. We're gonna have to build another gatherer's hut. Gather shack. Oh, this is a nice spot. Do it over here. Get some grass. I'm gonna turn off everything else because I just want them harvesting grass right now. This one got more workers working in it somehow magically. That's fine. All right. Now we got the ability to place a marketplace. I'm gonna place the marketplace right here. Seems like a good spot. There's a massive marketplace. Huge. What do we need for this? Rags, branches, grass. All right. Those are easy things for me to come by, so. Oh, nice. Upgraded town hall. Extend the building. With new rooms, improved material, and furniture, all able to approach more complex projects. Oh, actually, I can do it right now. I have lots of cut stone. Boom. Oh, wow. You can interact with other communities. Right of way allows us to travel through territory. Wow. Very cool. Has other communities. That's something new. That's something new. Oh, now, now we have the town hall. Dang. So yeah, so far it's not really challenging, but this is early alpha, so the game's going to be completely different uh, by the time it's finished, of course, and it, lots of stuff can happen, but it's it's pretty fun. I can see how with a little bit of added difficulty that this could be a pretty good game. Um, it's got all the elements, it's got ecology and all types of stuff integrated into it, lots of different plants and animals. See right here, you can look at this tree, it's bark, raw wood, it's mushrooms, it's branches, leaves, all of those used for various processes and crafting. The bush has fruits on it. And we haven't even gotten into farming, which um, this game is supposed to have a pretty advanced farming system. I think they're working on that, though. That might not be part of this uh, this testing phase. But I can actually plant my own wheat fields right now. Let's just do that. Ooh, scarecrows. Very neat. Let's put a scarecrow on our field. Grass. Oh, that's kind of cool how I can plant grass and make things look nice. Palm tree? Alright, why not, right? Yeah, now we're, now this is a classy establishment. Alright, cool. We got the... Uh, that's the end of the demo there. We got the marketplace, so we can start selling items. Yeah, still a bit to go, but very promising. Very, very promising. I definitely would probably pay like 20 bucks for this game. And uh, write it, write it out. A lot of games really depend, quite frankly, on how challenging they are. Because the more challenging a game, the more rewarding something is. So something's really easy, then it's just, you know, like, relaxing. Um, personally, I like, I, I'm into the really challenging games and building out. Because I find it, I just find that kind of gameplay rewarding. This is pretty good. It's got the structure of a pretty good game. Got a lot of concepts into it. I think it's going to take some time. But when it does come out, I'm definitely going to be giving this another try. Let me know what you guys think. If you, you think this is going to be a good game or you think it's uh, got a lot of work cut out for it. Thank you all for watching.